Leaving the milk out overnight is a mistake you can probably live with. However, not finding the right neighborhood to live in or buying instead of renting could be something that could be catastrophic. So in this video, I'm gonna be talking about five mistakes to avoid before moving to Chicago, Illinois. If you've seen some of my past videos, I've actually advocated and I'm really, really pushed to avoid the car. You don't need the car when you're at the city with wonderful public transportation. So I've said that, right? Not have a car, but... Oh yes, I'm a hypocrite. You can see here I'm in my garage, it's a little loud, but you can see this dirty car right here. Whoop. That's my car. So I have to pay $256 a month. And if I wasn't a full-time realtor, then I probably wouldn't have the car. And so if you don't absolutely need to have that car, and not, not to mention the insurance, the, um, the hourly rate using the park app on any of the streets, the city sticker, it really adds up. So if you don't need the car for your work, I strongly recommend that's the one, that's, that's mistake number one. Get rid of that car. If you need to bring it, have it when you come here initially, keep the car, but get rid of it as soon as you can. Mistake number two is where to live. I mean, there are 77 communities, right? And my goal, of course, if it takes me 10 years, so be it, to not only go through the 77 communities, but um, hundreds of neighborhoods. Well, let me, let me rephrase that. I probably have to go through all 77. I can't service every single area. So where to live is critical. And I'm going to be talking about buy rent um, as number five mistake, but yeah, you really need to kind of understand. It's like, what do you want? What are your wants? What are your needs? If you're a growing family, and of course, schools are important. I'm going to be doing a very comprehensive, eventually, got to find time, school guide for you. But that could be important. Or you may like vintage character and historic nature. You maybe live in an existing one wherever you live, and you want to live into that and enjoy that character. So the Lake, Lakewood Balmoral District, I'm gonna be doing Andersonville pretty soon. You may like that character of the neighborhood. About it, maybe a young couple or young professional with a tight budget, right? Where interest rates have increased, home prices haven't let, let gone down, even in the Chicago area. So you may want to consider something like Lower West Side or the Northwest Side versus some of the popular neighborhoods like Roscoe Village, North Center, Lakeview, Lakeview East, because of that budget, right? So it's very important Finding that place, even if you decide to rent, you got to be there for at least 12 months, right? So really come back to my channel. Please subscribe to my channel and click that notification bell so you can learn. You know, part 50% of my uh, of this channel is real estate, but 50% and growing, that's going to be rebalancing, will be about the neighborhoods. I'm trying my hardest to get more neighborhoods out there so you can make an informed decision. To my 277 subscribers and many more folks not subscribed, thank you, thank you, thank you for watching my video. I'm Anantioris, AD. As usual, I have the finger. Look at the finger, look at the finger. A local Chicago, city of Chicago realtor and helping first-time buyers, first-time sellers, downsizers make better decisions about Chicago's neighborhoods and real estate. So mistake number three, mistake number three, is thinking like a tourist. So what do I mean by this? A lot of people that visit Chicago, of course, they see the bean, they have that deep dish, dish pizza. I don't know why I can't say that. Deep dish pizza, right? Millennium Park, do the architectural tour. They think, okay, well, loop, right? And of course, a lot of people and a lot of companies, they will have good SEO, search engine optimization. So when you're searching in Google, okay, where to live, the loop may come up in the surrounding areas around there, which is great. There's nothing wrong with the loop, but that business district in the loop, after six o'clock, it is a ghost town, a literal ghost town. And it's something that you're gonna end up, if you end up living there, God forbid you buy there, where you have to necessarily be there longer, but let's say you rent there, you're gonna have a year of misery because you're gonna be traveling to the other neighborhoods enjoying all the great things about the, the neighborhood. So don't necessarily think like a tourist. Keep watching my video and learn about neighborhoods and learn about real estate, even if you're renting. The headlines. So this is kind of, you know, I like to have fun here on the channel. The headlines, everyone has been seeing it across the nation. I've got so many friends, family asking me, oh my God, Chicago is so violent. It's such a violent city. And, you know, I can sit here and share a whole bunch of websites, et cetera, per capita, which Chicago, by the way, is not even in the top 10. But 
any type of stat driven stuff, I'm gonna direct folks over to um, Chicago Police Department. They, um, Chicago, like the community areas, um, the police departments are set up as districts. So you can actually look at the district of the couple of neighborhoods you're thinking about moving to, and you can, you can have data until you're data in the face, right? But the reality here is a lot of it is headlines. It's clickbait, folks. Overall, Chicago, it is still the third biggest city. I know Houston's catching up really quick. It's a massive city with millions of people. There is going to be crime. And of course, I'm not saying anything out of turn here. There's going to be crime. But don't focus on those headlines. Watch sites like my sites. Do your third-party research. I can send you data from Chicago Police Department so you can make an informed decision. But that's a really big mistake a lot of people are, are, are doing, and they're not moving to our wonderful city as a result of it. Mistake number five, the last one here, it's uh, five mistakes to avoid, five mistakes to avoid before moving to Chicago, Illinois. Now you're gonna be surprised folks, all my beautiful 277 subs and everyone else watching this video. I'm not gonna be telling you to buy. Yes, I am a, a realtor, full-time realtor, but that buy versus rent kind of dilemma, it may make sense for you to actually rent because you can't make that decision, right? So I'm actually saying it could be, that could be a smart decision, what I'm trying to say, versus buying. Because if you do have all your hopes and dreams into buying and you happen to, maybe you don't consult with me or your realtor, um, or God forbid your realtor is kind of pushing you, which is a no-no, into a particular neighborhood because of course they can make a bigger commission check. And then you're in the wrong neighborhood, of course you bought a home. And of course for tax implications, you gotta stay there for at least two years. You could rent it out, but why go through all that headache? It's a big investment. So I'm telling a lot of people, even people who reach out to me, even though I don't personally handle renters, maybe rent for a year and kind of feel it out and live in a neighborhood, maybe it's a little less expensive, that's close to the neighborhood or your favorite neighborhood, build some savings and then we can go after it in a year because I'm not going anywhere and I want this channel to be of value and also of course get business, but that buy versus rent, it may make sense for you to rent. So, I, so I'm actually, I can't believe I'm saying this, right? Buying could actually be that mistake and so, this has been five mistakes to avoid before moving to Chicago. I am Anantioris AD, a local EXP realtor supporting the city of Chicago, not the metro, not Chicago land, the city of Chicago. I'm here for you. I hope I'm showing value. As always, I have some videos here. I want you to check out a playlist and you can subscribe to my channel. If you have any comments, any videos that you want to see, comment below and I can't wait to see you on the next video.